the original style alternator on this engine is uh, a kind of a dual AC DC semi DC uh, alternator that runs underneath the flywheel with its magnets and it half of the output is uh, pulse DC with this diode that blocks the AC so you get a kind of a, a 12 volt plus 12 volt plus um, pulse and the other side of the AC is blocked and it also has an AC output for running the uh, filament style bulb lights now this is so it can charge the battery okay and there's no real built-in regulator to it but what there is is there's a different style alternator which uh, doesn't just use half of the uh, coils for for the uh, generation but is like a full AC output and it goes to this regulator so you get AC in and then you actually get real DC out via regulator so what I'm going to do is take this apart and convert this to DC operation so that we can do things like uh, not only charge the battery properly but also run um, LED uh, bulbs instead of uh, filament type which will further reduce the need for amperage because they're very very low current so I have to take the shroud off and then pull the uh, flywheel Okay, so that's what we'll be taking off. And there's our magnetic pickup for the ignition from a 1968 Chevelle. Looks like I'll have to take off the shield as well. Okay, not a biggie. You can see on this alternator <clears throat> that all the coil windings are the same size. And that's for the uh, alternator that uh, goes to a full bridge rectifier. In comparison, the windings on here are two different sizes to each side of the uh, output. Got the fan back on and the flywheel back on. So should be good to go. Just have to rewire after putting back the shroud and the uh, fan directors. I mounted the regulator right next to the same place, right behind the ignition module. And the spacing was pretty much identical. So, so I was able to do that and uh, it's nice and firm and mounted on the heat sink. So now it's just a matter of uh, finishing up the wiring. So I'm going to get a couple of yellow wires to hook in. Okie doke. Okay, the regulator's on the back there and the, the ignition modules in the front. Mm. 